November is known for being the start of the holiday season, but it also marks Lung Cancer Awareness Month. This holiday season, starting conversations about lung cancer screenings could save the life of someone you love maybe even yourself. Lung cancer is the nation's leading cancer killer, accounting for 25% of cancer deaths in the United States. That's according to the American Cancer Society. This year alone, more people will die of lung cancer than a breast, colon, and prostate cancer put together. The silver lining is that there are now more screening options available than ever before. They can detect lung cancer at its earliest stages when it is most treatable. And joining us now to talk about the importance of lung cancer screening is Dr. Catherine Madoffrey. Yes, right? Yes. yes. Okay. I practiced ahead of time. I still didn't get it right with the American Lung Association. Thanks so much for taking time to be here with us this morning. The first Thank thing you. I have to ask you about when we talk about compared to other cancers, yes. what is it about lung cancer that makes it so deadly? Yeah, well, the thing with the lung cancer is that although we do have screening right now, we don't have the screening for um, to detect all the lung cancers, right? We don't have the early diagnosis of screening for lung cancer. A lot of times when lung cancer is found, it's found at its later stages because we don't have the screening that we have now or for, and in fact, today is lung cancer screening day, mm -hmm. but the screenings that we have are for smokers, previous smokers or smokers that meet the criteria. Um, criteria um, such as if you had smoked in the past um, for 50 to 80 year olds and two packs per day, um, a, a 20 pack here history. Um, and it's actually, if you meet the criteria, you can go to, it's called savedbythescan.org, take a quiz, and if you meet criteria, you could take talk to your doctor about getting a low-dose CT scan. Mm -hmm. Other than that, someone like me who's had lung cancer, no smoking, no family history, there is no screening for that. And we're hearing about that all the time. Yes, yes. Yes. That must have been a shock to you. It was a very much of a shock. It was 2015, um, no family history, no risk factors or anything else. So this is where we're really fighting for more research. And the American Lung Association um, is really uh, pressing for this, is where we need more funding for research for early detection for someone like me, where we don't have the screening like we would have for prostate cancer or breast cancer. Exactly. Now, mm -hmm. what are some of the symptoms that you should look out for, and are there always symptoms? A lot of time there are no symptoms, and that's when it is when the symptoms present. They're often in the later stages, which is where it's very hard to determine, you know, and we detect it in the later stages where often the treatments are very hard to, um, to treat at that time because it's in the later stages. Sometimes it's a cough, sometimes it's not. And really at this point, it's not really feasible to CT scan everybody because a lot of people do have lung nodules and that does not mean that they're gonna be cancerous. And there could be false positives, Correct. et cetera. Absolutely. So mm -hmm. besides screening, mm -hmm. what other things can people do to lower their risk? Well, of course, smoking, right? Yeah. But not everybody that smokes, if you have lung, you lungs, you're set up for lung cancer, but smoking is the number one. Of course, um, you know, environmental, but we don't know the environmental causes. So those are just some of the things that we think about right now. I mean, again, for women um, of my age, we don't really know why that, that we're getting the lung cancers that we're seeing. Uh, in the short time we have left, tell mm -hmm. us about the event that's coming up, the screening event. Oh, right, yeah, so it's tomorrow. We're so excited about this. It's um, the Run Walk, um, the Lung Force Run Walk tomorrow um, at the Haskell Building on Riverside at 9 o'clock. Registration, you can come at 8.30. We still have registration available. Oh, so, yeah, it's pet friendly. Um, it's going to be a beautiful day, so we really encourage people to come out there and support us. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Dr. Catherine Madoffrey, thank you so thank much you for being very, with very us much. this we morning. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.